All right, well, I guess we're going out of here with Yusuke. I was writing a little bit in chat in regards to a, in regards to that, where it's like, you know, I do very much appreciate when games do delve, or just media in general, do delve into topics that, you know, not a lot of media would. A lot of media would just be like, yeah, let's just play it as safe as we can and, you know, not trigger anyone. So I do appreciate, you know, media, you know, actually being brave enough to delve into that kind of territory. And like I wrote there, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'll agree with everything it has to depict, but that's okay. It still shows me, you know, other views, other ways of seeing things. And I can, you know, I can choose to agree or disagree. And that's just like perfectly fine and healthy and a-okay there. I'm not going to go and, you know, lose my mind on Twitter or something like that. Like some people are trying to cancel anybody over something like, over something like some depiction in media or something like that. I can say that there's some situations that I might think are kind of messed up, like the way that Ryuji and Morgana treated Anne in that one scene earlier, for example, where it's like, huh, yeah, that was, uh, that was not so great, but, you know, I'm not gonna freaking blow my top off over it, you know, is the, uh, is the case. The, uh, one of the biggest issues with so many people nowadays is that with the wake of social media and the internet and everything, there seems to have come a sense of entitlement to silence people who you don't feel deserve to have a voice. And that's something that we see cause a lot of drama online, you know? Anyway. A vain museum such as this? Yeah, man. is crazy. Alright, so it wasn't that much of a, uh... Wasn't that much of a scene there. Probably didn't have to turn that off there. Yeah, I, uh... Wait, what's the shark side? What does that even mean? Should, should I even ask? Do I want to know? Uh, I've never heard that before. Painting. Do you recognize it? We were thinking these might be his past pupils or something. But why are there paintings of them here? Technically, those aren't actually paintings. They're the pupils themselves. Madarame saw them as objects, so that's what they are in here. Oh, and uh, we found yours too. <sighs> we'll talk more later. For now, let's get out of here. The music's nice and chill and stuff, though. But yeah, I think that it's really important to be able to, uh, you know, be able to acknowledge sensitive topics without, you know, getting triggered by them. <laughs> you know, something that, uh, something that, unfortunately, you know, a lot of people don't really keep in mind. I feel like the world would be such a better place if so many more people could just be like, hey, other views exist, and that's okay. I'd like to hear about them, you know? Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. Um, it was a joke a YouTuber made once who hates Shark Tale 2 with a- Wait, there was a second one? <laughs> I was just saying the same thing, Shark Tale as sequel? I think I owed the original somewhere around here from forever ago. Was there actually a sequel? You yeah, what? I've never heard of this. Huh, talk about bullshit clothes. First a king, now some kind of shogun. Welcome to the museum of the master artist, Madarame. You know how I just said that I wasn't really gonna get- you know, personally offended by, you know, <laughs> things or media out there, I changed my mind. If Shark Tale 2 is a thing that exists, I am offended by its existence. Anyway. <laughs> huh? Sensei? Is that you? That attire? Disgusting. This... This is all one big lie, isn't it? My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home. Under a mistress's name, of course. Um, I don't know. Some sap you got, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me laugh. If the Sayuri was stolen, why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? If it's really you, Sensei, please tell me. Foolish child, you still don't see? Painting being stolen was just a false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. Ha ha! How's that for preferential treatment? Art snobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that. 
No. The value of art is purely illusion. What's the matter with providing that illusion to eager customers? Though I doubt a brat like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. You keep going on and on about money this, money that. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting museum. You're supposed to be an artist, right? Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? Art is nothing but a tool. A tool to gain money and fame. You helped me greatly as well, Yusuke. God, it pisses me off. That's your teacher. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? <laughs> to think I was under the care of this wretched man. You thought I took you in out of the goodness in my heart? Plucking talented yet troubled artists allows me to find promising pupils and take their ideas. After all, it's much easier to steal the futures of children who can't fight back. I can't believe this. Livestock are killed for their hide and meat. This is no different, you fool. But I tire of this little chat. It's time that I... You are unforgivable. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are. I won't forgive you! So, you repay my keeping you around for all these years with ingratitude? You damn brat! Men, dispose of these thieves! Get back! How amusing. Huh? <laughs> it seems the truth is stranger than fiction, huh? Kitagawa-kun? I wanted to believe it wasn't true. I had clouded my vision for so long. My eyes were truly blind. Blind and unable to see the true self behind this one horrible man. Have you finally come to your senses? <laughs> How foolishly you averted your eyes from the truth. Horrible imitation indeed. The best you part from that aspect of yourself. Let us now forge a contract. I am thou, thou art I. The world is filled with both beauty and vice. It is time you teach people which is which. Very well. Come. Go on. Ah! A breathtaking sight. Imitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish. This is impressive! Who do you think you are? The price for your insolence will be death! Where are my guards? Kill them all! The children who adored you as father. The prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? How many dreams did you exchange for riches? No matter what it takes. I will bring you to justice. Um, let's see what you're made of. Very well, bring it on. Probably didn't matter what I said. <laughs> All right, so we now have Yusuke as a new party member. Then. All right. Well, oh my goodness, what the heck are these guys? You are in the presence of Lord Marwaman. Oh gee, I never noticed. On your knees, intruder. <laughs> I learned much. So heck yeah. In order to see authenticity, 
One must be dispassionately realistic. With Goemon by my side, I can now ascertain your true self without any reservations. All right, so hold on. I don't see a no, how do I check the um? No. How do I just check my allies? Intel. Okay, so Morgana's the one that's out here. Oh, are you just still missing some health? Whoops. Because I should have explored that with Joker before, huh? Dang. Yeah, so my main healer is the one that's missing then. Gotcha, gotcha. So, okay, so he has ice. Right, slice. His accuracy evasion for one ally for three turns. Okay. So you've got to be weak to ice then or something, right? Probably. <coughs> wow, that, uh, that crit slash weak eye panel thing were bomb. I don't know what the heck it's called, man. That thing were bomb. He seemed really darn pissed. All right, I can, uh, I can switch to ice as well, is the case. Because I can go ahead and do this. We can take out these guys. But yeah, let's just see here. Yeah, they fully let the Judo power up. The only anime you've seen where that rule makes sense is DBs, where everyone just lets each other reach your full power of hubris. As a kind of, I'll beat your ass at your full power just showing how much better than I, <laughs> than you I am. And then there's, uh, situations like, you know, most media and stuff like this, where it's like, yeah, they just let you, you know, go through that whole persona transformation because, sure, I guess. I'll just start blasting, I guess, because sure. <coughs> oh, maybe I should, um, do this. Might not be a bad idea, right? Yeah. Let's do that. Sledgehammer. What? Well, these probably aren't cheap. But, uh, Sorry. well, let's see here. So we go ahead and do that. Bam. So we'll take out the side ones. I don't know if the side ones have even done anything yet. All right, high five. And we take out you. Okay. Big smackaroos. All right, neat. And now we'll just, I don't know, do this. <laughs> Does Baton Pass increase healing abilities as well? I wonder. And it shows like a yellow flame around, so I assume it does, right? Oh yeah, I think it does, right? But yeah, I remember Dragon Ball Super where they had a crossover with magical girls and Android 17 attacked them during their transformation. Everyone is so pissed and stole them for it. <laughs> what the heck? Not gonna let us fully power up? What a jerk move. Alright, so you're weak to something else. You're weak to fire? Resist. Okay, so not that. Ah, nice miss! Attack evade with scoundrel's eyes. Wait, what even is that? Another thing I have equipped in some way. Some way, somehow. Alright, what the heck then? So, if you're strong against fire, would that mean that you'd be weak against... No, I don't know. I don't know what it would mean exactly then. Um, I don't know. I can try... I'm gonna guess light is what I'm gonna guess. It was my light one here. There we go. I was wrong. <laughs> oh gosh dang it, you resisted it. Let's see here. I am thou. I guess we'll just keep doing this is what we'll do for this, I guess, palace mid-boss. Um, no one particularly needs health all that much. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. We'll do sleep. Oh, never mind. Ow. Mean. Real mean. Yeah, sure, let's do this. But yeah, Hunter x Hunter also made the rule make sense because Gon's transformation scares his enemy shitless the one time he uses it. Hunter x Hunter was a anime that was actually recommended to me by one of the mods of the channel, so I have seen it before. And my done. goodness gracious, that was a that was something there where he just becomes like super duper swole in the Chimera Ant arc there. Persona! Like my goodness, I as a viewer was like, what the hell just happened? But yeah, it uh, made sense for you know the enemies to be super scared as well because like this tiny little kid just became freaking the most insanely swole dudo ever, and it's just you know here to murderize now and it's like wow well he's like a completely different person now what are you weak to <laughs> i wish i knew what you were weak to but alas i have no idea <laughs> yeah he literally turned into snake's revenge solid snake exactly so do you always block that or um i'll try it one more time okay you just block that that's just the rule then okay it wasn't like a one-off kind of thing all right Gotcha. In that case. Alright, let's see here. Can we use the Yeehaw then? I'm trying the Yeehaw. What are you weak to? I don't see a weakness. I I have wind. I don't have whatever the freaking purple thing is. Let's go. So if you're weak to that, I'm screwed. 
We'll probably just kill you before that point. Wait, I, sh I should see what his gun is. I never checked that, did I? I started blasting. I guess I never tried physical attacks, did I? I doubt you'd be weak to- Wow! <laughs> You're so dang mean! Well, you, we have a lot of funds at this point anyway, right? So it's probably a-okay. All right, where's my wind one? Which one of my personas can pass wind? It's you. Oh, he freaking reflects it! So, oh, interesting. Okay, well. We gotta heal Joker first because, uh, you know, we just lose the battle if he goes down. You know? Ooh, nice miss! I guess we can just try regular physical attack. Okay, well. Attack reverted, okay, whatever. Alright, my most powerful persona that is probably just, uh, wait, it, I think it's a nuke one actually, right? I think. Wait, can I check what, uh, level they are? I have no idea. I think, off the top of my head, I think it's a nuke one, though. I'm not entirely sure. Well, mini nuke. Very two. Alright, well. Persona! Bam! Okay, we're almost there. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna keep on playing it kind of safe-ish, though. That's what I'm gonna do here. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Well, ah! Unbelievable. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, please. Please. There, jeez. Well, does Ansel get experience? I hope so. I think that's a question I've asked when Alice had fainted before, and I forgot the answer. Well, who knows, I guess. <laughs> you say you've just thrown your bright future down the drain. I'll destroy every chance you've ever had of becoming an artist. Matarame. You'll forever rue the day you dared defy me. Get back here. Why can't I move? Listen, you're totally drained. You can't do much even if you wanted to. What a disgrace I am. Come on, just listen to her. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. But... Who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa-kun? Well, he is the one who painted the Sayori. On top of that, I owe him a great debt. You mean because he raised you? I never knew my father. I was told my mother raised me by herself, but she died in an accident when I was three. That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father. But he changed. To think he would treat the Sayori, the very foundation of his art, like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? When you had mentioned plagiarism, deep down, I knew you were right. That's why I so vehemently denied you. I was simply running from the truth. I'm sorry. Illusion of choice. No worries. Thank you. I'm grateful for the chance to face what I have been denying all this time. You're way too serious, man. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me. I just go with the flow. For real. What are you going to do now? I don't know. We can't help the fact that Madarame has gone and changed. But we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. That reminds me. You mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the phantom thieves that steal hearts? Don't tell me. No. 
Oh crap. We'll talk later. We need to scram. When did my clothes change? You just noticed that now? Save it for after. Let's go. I see. And because of that, this PE teacher's had a change of heart. Phantom thieves who steal hearts. To think they truly exist. Um, is it hard to believe? No, I believe you. There's no need for common sense to blind me after seeing a world like that. So, your plan with Madarame Sensei, with Madarame, is to force a change of heart, correct? Let me join, as a member of the Phantom Thieves. Had I faced reality sooner, this may have been avoided. I must put an end to this, for the sake of the others whose futures as artists were robbed as well. That is the most civil thing I can do for the man who was, in some manner, my father. Civil, huh? Sounds fine to me. We're gonna deal with Madarame anyways. He may have a mental shutdown if we screw up. We have ways to prevent that, but they aren't fail-safe. Remember how we mentioned this on our way here? Madarame is a man who has the art world under his thumb. He has connections to many organizations. If someone like me raises my voice, it'll only be snubbed out. We have no option but this. Kitagawa-kun? It's a deal, then. We have a new member in the Phantom Thieves now. I hope we get along, Yusuke. You better not slow us down. I'll do my best. Um, <laughs> oh, no new paintings. <laughs> uh, so that was all a plan. Well, that's quite daring, Takamaki san. It wasn't my idea, it was theirs. What else were we supposed to do? It's his fault for going on and on about the nude modeling thing. I haven't given up on that yet, though. Give it up! Oh, that reminds me. I wonder what's going on with the real Madarame. Yusuke and I were in a pretty tight situation. Actually, I contacted him before we came here. He believes that I continued pursuing Takamaki-san. And, just as you all explained, it appears he knows nothing about his shadow. What did he say? He was complaining to the security company how they couldn't even catch one high school girl. However, he's still furious about it, and said that he's going to take legal action against everyone. Talk about being completely on guard. Legal action? He's acting way too desperate. Maybe he still has more secrets. If he were to act, it'd be after the exhibit is over. Any scandal during the show would be his loss. The talk about being a nude model is over. This happens? We'll have to force a change of heart before then if we're to dodge this legal action thing. Looks like our plan must be accomplished while the exhibit is still open. By the way, what is this? Huh? A cat. But it's talking. You have a problem with that? No, not really. Why not? He's just on a different wavelength than other people. Do you wish to draw me? You better bring out the best of me in that case. Hmm. Hey, don't touch me like... I was thinking of ordering some black bean jelly. I bet he got that idea from a black cat. Oh! I didn't bring any money. Never mind. He's just weird. Hey. Um, I kind of am. It was a whole evening worth of hijinks. In fact, this whole stream has been like a whole bunch of hijinks. Don't forget that you're still under probation. You got that? One misstep and you're finished. Yeah, a freaking big name in the art world is probably gonna try to file legal action against me. So that's cool. You know, good. No, no, no. What's wrong about changing the hearts of criminals? We're doing the right thing. 
All right, who's texting me? Is you skip part of the group chat now? Nope. Legal action. This ain't funny. Um. I don't know. The police hear about this. They'll totally get in touch with the school. We'll get expelled for sure this time. The school will be the least of our worries. We'd end up arrested, unlawful entry, defamation. Guess that means we really can't afford to F it up this time. Yeah, from here on out is what really matters. Let's do it. We just need to change his heart before he presses charges. <laughs> Try to focus on that problem for now. Alright, I'll keep that in uh I'll keep that in mind. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, apparently apparently that's a thing that could have existed in one timeline, but uh not this one. Hey. Um crooks are everywhere, yeah. I hear there. So seventeen days to steal Madarame's heart, huh? Alright, so Oh yeah, I gotta return the freaking DVD and can I get a new one, or are they all out of ones that I can do for now, I wonder. But yeah, um, it's very late boss as the universe died. Oh, so, <coughs> I gave you a call on Discord while we were in the middle of Deer Simulator, when we defeated the final boss that was, like, your future Deer self, and you had the option of, like, shoot your future Deer self or spare them, and I put it to a poll in chat, and it was 3-3, so people were suggesting phone a friend to get the answer. So I tried to, uh, <laughs> well, you could have swayed the vote that way, but it wound up being decided by a coin flip to not shoot him, was the case. So, uh, <laughs> I tried, uh, I tried giving it a call there to see if you were to decide the fate of future Deer Self and the playthrough, but, uh, asleep. <laughs> Unfortunito. But yeah, I also called Carvia there, and he was getting food at the time, so he, uh, missed the opportunity there. So yeah, we did it with a coin flip, is what, uh, <laughs> is what happened. I, uh, I didn't really see other, you know, good friendos online that I was like, yes, this is someone acceptable to randomly call. So there was, a, uh, there was that. But yeah, he's a good American sue first, ask second. Yeah, that right there. And the Shark Tale 2 timeline is the same timeline where the last Fighters Pass character was butt butt. Oh yeah, it surely must be. The pains of having a normal sleep schedule. Yeah, must, must really suck, huh? <coughs> Speaking of. It's currently 4.47 in the morning, local time. We're going until 6 a.m. Maybe a little. Do I want to go a little bit past 6 a.m.? Because we technically started at like 6.20. Do I want to make lockpicks again? Wait. Okay. Wait, the weather? Wait, what was this note about the weather? The weather may not be great, but it's easier to focus on making infiltration tools when you're stuck inside. Oh. So the rain means okay. that I can make more things then, right? What even is this? Info. A metonic that calms an enemy's nerves, lowering a palace's security level. Oh. Okay, interesting. So let's craft one yeah. of those. Yeah, and then I can make three other things, right? Yeah, because the stream crashed. At one point, well, OBS kind of died. As a thing. Alright, yeah, it just goes right into here. Immediately again. So this is a tool that allows you... Wait, it allows you to return to the metaverse entrance. I mean, you can do that at, well, any save room. I guess if you don't, if you don't have a save room nearby. Um, yeah, let's make one more of those and then I'll craft two lockpicks, sure. Let's do that. <coughs> I have so many lockpicks, though. It's great. It's absolutely fantastic. All right, let's do it. All right. Sweet. All right, that's cool. Bam, lockpick. Look, I'm only even 25% boosted. Not even all that boosted today. Definitely getting better. I can tell just yeah. been watching you. Heck yeah. I wish there were some ways in here that I could, like, work up my guts. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I was just thinking about, like, what are actions that they could have me do here that could potentially work up guts? Would I just, like, open the window and flash people going by? That sounds like a way to work up guts, right? Okay, let's go to bed. But, I mean, what do I know? 